it's difficult today to oh. it's, it's a wind. Oh, it's, no, it's no, it's not the wind. It's the uh, the I I've never used this paint, so it's really good. It covers well, but you got to shake it good. Shake it first. Because the uh, the pigment the pigments separate and it, it cracks if you don't. Got but uh, really good paint. Um, pretty happy with it. The rain's holding up, so that's good. And uh, uh, the good thing with the spray, even if it was to pour, you know, it won't run the paint. So that's, that's all it, you know. How did you get here? You have to, is there some kind of competition? Anybody can, can no, I, uh, rain throws it every year. Uh, I've been lucky that he invites me to come down a lot and paint. Um, so you must be a famous guy. Sometimes. Uh, you know, I, I've been doing it for a long time. But uh, there's a lot of talent here, and I like it. It helps you push the bar, you know. You're from New York City. From yeah, New York. I'm in Brooklyn now, but born in and uh, born in the Bronx, raised in Queens. I used to live in Brooklyn and uh, Greenpoint. Polish, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I used to uh, for a few years, I, 11 years, I ran right over Greenpoint and Long Island City five points. I don't know if you ever got to see it. It was like a it was like an unofficial museum. Uh -oh. It was a full city block, graffiti, seven... Uh, outside or inside? Outside, indoors, both, industrial, one city block, uh, hundred, it was um, seven, uh, five floors, but industrial floors, so it was like an eight-story building covered top to bottom of the graffiti. Nice, beautiful. Yeah. Did you start doing this on the street, I guess? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 87 I started, and no breaks, I've been doing it since. Did you ever pay any penalty? Yeah, I've been caught, I got arrested, had to do community service. Part of the game. Well, you used to, they said in New Jersey it was like $1,000 for one square inch, that's not true, right? Oh, I don't know about Jersey, but I know they're strict out here, so if they get you, they, they like to hit you hard. <laughs> uh, but I I, uh, I used to paint a lot in Jersey, I used to, I mean, I'm, I'm a little older now, so I'm kind of not doing the illegal stuff like I used to. I understand. I'm, uh, I'm almost 50, so. I do more, I'm trying to get into canvas work too, so I can leave a little legacy behind and do shows, but I mix it up, you know. Nice. What, what's going to happen with this? T t tell me about the colors. You said that you're going to use a lot I'm of colors. I'm using these two colors as the base, and then I have a, a mixed bag of tricks to add for designs and texture and, and colors. Are you going to do all this today? Yeah, I'm going to be done today. I have to. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. I believe it started with um, the vicious. I believe they they were already called the vicious styles crew, but you could ask Leon about that. Um, so it was Leon and Casso, and I think Meth and maybe Lank, and um, so they started it like way back when, well, or 16 years ago. It's just been going ever since. I, the first one I went to was in 2012, it was a lot of fun, and uh, in 2017 I, I decided to make it a goal to be in it, so I just bothered Leon a lot, and you know, I've been in it ever since 2018. So you've been doing this for three years, right? Yeah, well, yeah, this is my fourth year. Yeah. Yeah. You also do it on some of the streets? Some yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I have a few in, in Trenton and like maybe one or two in Philadelphia. So yeah, it's a, it's a fun hobby slash side gig. So they, they hire sure. you to do the, the mirrors? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't do a lot of that, but yeah. You're going to be back tomorrow? Or you yeah, finish today? I should be back tomorrow, yeah. They say it's a very windy day today, so it, 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 it's not as good as it oh, should be. Right, it's not, it's not the best conditions to paint in the wind, that's true. That's and true. What, what will that be? What, what are you painting? I'm painting a, an alicorn, so that's a horse with wings and a horn, it's kind of like a pegasus unicorn. Right, it's a symbolic, what does it mean? 
I don't know. It's just it's just majestic. I don't have all the backstory on that, but maybe I should. I just think it looks cool, so I painted it. And um, yeah. Very good. I'll, I'll stick around to do some time lapse for you. Okay, cool. Thank you. here for Jersey Fresh Jam. Uh, this is our 16th year and uh, TerraCycle. Uh, I met Tom Zaki in uh, early 2005 and uh, <clears throat> he kind of uh, you know gave us permission to paint the building and from there you know we started having jams and having people come from you know all over. We have uh, artists here from Philadelphia, New York, New Jersey. We have an artist from Texas this year. Uh, and really, you know, we try to bring, you know, and then we started doing the music. You know, uh, Ahmad is the main one that organizes the music, but music, vending, uh, food, all different types of, uh, you know, really just bringing people out and trying to, uh, you know, bring the community out for, you know, really just a, a art festival. Tomorrow is going to be a main event, right? They're going to all yeah. Come tomorrow, back tomorrow we this this you know even though it didn't rain uh, today, you know the forecast was like uh, super uh, gloom yesterday. You know it was like pretty much seventy or sixty throughout the day. Uh, I guess if anybody you know is from the East Coast, you know like during the summer August, it's like just really unpredictable. So we were like uh, you know one of those things where we weren't. Uh, you know able to have it today so you know it, the the forecast looking a little bit better tomorrow but you know we also invited the artists to come out you know both days and uh paint you know so if they want you know as long as they wanted to give it a shot you know we had primed the the building uh with house paint a couple weeks before so you know with the spray paint it pretty much as long as the water's not running down the wall you know we could still paint so i figured i would uh put it out for people to try to come out today and work on their stuff some of the productions have been uh working on for a couple weeks but it, it only you know. happens once a year here yeah i mean we do classes here and people paint here during the year uh but as far as like events that we open to the public uh we only do it once a year you know the part of this is this is actually you know TerraCycle's business location so you know it's like you can't have events here all the time you know it's not an event space it's their sure. uh you know their headquarters so okay you, know, you, so. you have your part of the wall here yeah it's 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 on the first wall it's the gold piece on the bottom okay, so, so I'll, I'll meet you there later sure absolutely do you have events otherwise like for instance i saw the pictures of of some body painting or something like this do you, do you yeah do i mean i haven't been doing as much events in the last few years uh, i've been working with um the capital city farms and i've been organizing some events over there uh that still has like some of the art aspect but you know music art food and you know really there with the farm is trying to get the community to come out and just enjoy the farm um we're gonna have an event over there uh, October 9th and it's going to be like a harvest festival.
Well, it's my second time. I was here in 2016. I'm from up north, so that's why I, I couldn't make it last year. I was traveling and stuff. New York? I, li I, live in pa I grew up in Patterson, so I'm in the north section of Jersey, but I travel all over the states. I just came back from Guatemala. I was in Canada. How did you start this on the streets? On the streets, yeah. Did you ever get uh, caught? I started in 82, and I got caught like in uh, 88 in New York. But you yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of shit going on in Jersey, but you know, there's, there's little loopholes around all that, you know. But yeah, it's just a lot of a lot of illegal shit going on in Patterson in Jersey period that they're trying to control, but it's hard to control. It's all kinds of kids doing it, you know. Uh, in September we're doing the meeting of styles in in uh, North losses and doing that. September 11th and 12th. Yeah, meeting of South. Gonna be a lot of artists. Probably twice as much as the artists here. It's gonna be three different areas, three or four different locations. So it's a big. It's gonna be a big event. It'll be nice. Yeah, meeting of styles in uh, Newark, New Jersey. Or if not, look for Color Gallery. They sponsor a lot of the paint here. If you were you were on the other side, the guy doing Lost Soul, he's the one that's uh, hosting the meeting of styles in September. So he could give you more details. Yeah, he put paint. You know, that's why they gave us they gave us a little bit, you know, for us coming and do our production. So they sponsor us. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we you know we try to do something different each time. We're definitely gonna rock something nice in uh, North characters and stuff. get invited uh rain puts the event on i believe he's he started it uh it's the first time you're doing it it's the first time i'm actually painting here yeah first time i've got the paint i was invited a couple times but i had some personal stuff going on how, how did you start this uh, graffiti thing on the street i started graffiti growing up in uh growing up in the streets of philly south south philly eating cheesesteaks hoagies um my sister's boyfriend donnie gold Old, old boyfriend, I'm sorry. Uh, he got me into it, and uh, I was probably like 10 years old, baby. It just stuck with me, it gets in your blood. Do you, do you make some money with it? Nah, I mostly do it for fun. I'd like to make money one day with it, but I mostly just do it for fun, to clear my mind. When there's the next time, next thing, the next, next event like this, do you know? I don't really know when the next event is. They, there's not that many big events like this. This is, a, this is a real good event. This is a big event. They put on a great show over here. Great activities, like it's great for the community. They do a lot down here with graffiti and the community. Like instead of people going around trashing the city, they're doing nice pieces, putting artwork up. And it exactly. looks nice. Beautiful. All right, very good, thank you very much. This is beautiful. Oh, thanks. Thank How did you start this? How did I 
start this. Yeah, is this your beginning or how did you start? It? Yes, this is my beginning. Um, this is your first graffiti? This is my first graffiti. Who did you into it? Oh, I would say my dad, because I had like two artists in my life, thankfully, thankfully, and one of them were more into like the fine arts and he was into like spray painting, street paint, graffiti lettering. So I started out like sketching like this regularly on like the notebooks, but I've always wanted to, you know, like try to pursue and learn like the like the specialty in spray painting. Do you go to school somewhere? Uh, I graduated from Montclair State University this past June with a um, bachelor's in fine arts. So now like I'm just doing what I love, which is art, which is creating, inspiring the lives of others through my art. And in doing that, that's what makes me full. It's not necessarily about like the end product. The fact that I'm out here spray painting with all these pros, it's, it's making me very thankful. So um, yeah, it's about the process and I'm just happy to be out here. I got here because I heard through the grapevine and um, I just came out and I asked Leon like hey could I have a small wall space and he pointed me over here so I have all my spray paints already came out had my sketch that's it it's great you are you're beautiful your painting is beautiful thank you are you going to get the art what's your name